So he has me in side control, and we call this at my gym control three. It's like Kei Sakatami. He has the underhook, he's sitting on his hip. In MMA, he could beat my face in here. I don't want this to happen. I don't want him to get his arm around my neck ever. So if I can block that arm, that's best, and I can frame in the neck. None of my escapes work well if he's up high, like this on me. So the first thing I gotta do is frame him and then shimmy myself out and get him as low on my hips as I can. Because now when I bump my hips, he actually moves. On this one, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna replace my right hand with my left, and I'm gonna try to get into that elbow pit with my C group, just like this. So that if he tries to push his arm forward, he can. Once I'm here, I'm gonna turn onto my side, get to my elbow, and I'm gonna kick myself up and push him down. And if he's not going down, my hand is gonna push, push, push. Goes down. So again, this is a surprise move. You gotta do it fast. So frame, frame. Don't let him get around your neck. Shimmy out, shimmy out, grab, and when I'm ready, you have to stiff arm. If you don't stiff arm and you have it bent, he's gonna push back and your weak tricep is just gonna fold. When I lock it out, he can't break this. I just push him right over, try to explode. Best thing about this one is if it doesn't work, you lose nothing. Boom, he puts you back down, you're in the same position you were just in. The number one question I get in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is how to get out of side control. So I decided to create an entirely free instructional for you guys on exactly how to get out of side control. All you have to do to get it is in the comments, put escape kit and I'll send that to you.